is welcome student in my biology classes today we will take ne next topic of the chapter which is sexual reproduction in angiospermic plant in last class we will discuss about the microsporogenesis and development of male gametophyte now after the development of male gametophyte which is a tetrad so next topic as per the rbsc concern rbsc english medium student our next topic is the types of tetrads tetrad means micro spores four microspore in joining form it is called tetrad clear so different uh, tetrads present among the different plants especially monocot dicot and some other so it is the types of tetrads so today we will uh, discuss about these topic and some other topics so first the types of tetrad first we discuss about the five name of these tetrads first is called tetrahedrals second is isobilateral third is desiccate fourth is t shaped and fifth is linear clear first we take the tetrahedral these type of tetrad in which the four microspore are arranged in this manner that the three microspore first second and then three three microspore present in front of you when we visualize the pollen grain when we visualize the microspore or tetrad we can visualize the three microspore in front region and one microspore is the back region so that time the condition is called tetrahedral type of tetrad it is generally present in the most of dicot plant the example is dicot plant most of dicot plant second is isobilateral in isobilateral total four microspores present in the front view when we visualize these microspore we can easily visualize the four different segments in tetrad so it is the first microspore second microspore third microspore and fourth microspore so it is called isobilateral tetrad so isobilateral tetrad present in a most of cases of monocot plant so it is two type tetrahedral and isobilateral are present most of cases of dicot and monocot plant but some other type of tetrad tetrad present in different plants first is a uh, third is sorry desiccate these type of tetrads in which two microspore these are the first and then two microspore present in rectangle form that means it is present either side in the rectangle shape or form and remaining two one is the upper side and fourth number is the lower side so it is called the desiccate type of tetrad these type of tetrad generally present in the dicot plant which is mangolia clear so it is a third type of tetrads now we take the fourth which is in a t shape as t the two transversal so first and second microspore present in the transversal and remaining two present in the longitudinal so two in the transversal form and then two is the longitudinal form so it is the third microspore and it is a four microspore and it is type of called t shaped so it is t shaped tetrad example is aristolochia which is the dicot plant next number 4 uh, fifth is the linear as we know the name linear means it is a present in a linear motion first microspore second microspore third microspore and then four microspore so four microspore in the linear arrangement so that time it is called linear tetrad example halophilia it is a monocot plant so it is a very simple common topic which is generally rbsc approximately 2 to 3 mark question important for rbsc student rbsc 12th board students 2 to 3 mark questions in which the five type of tetrads present again repeat tetrad means first of all tetrad means the joining or the joint four microspore when they produce in the microsporogenesis they are in the joining form in the joining membrane 
we can take the any example it is the outer membrane and we can produce the membrane of tetrad the membrane of tetrad which is called callus clear these membrane these membrane is dissociated by the callase enzyme so it is a membrane by which all microspore join and dissociate during the time of development of pollen grain so it is different type of tetrad first tetrahedral isobilateral then second desiccate t shaped and linear type so total five type of yes our next topic which is the function of tapetum in previous classes i have explained the tapetum the innermost membrane just outside the microspore mother cell or microspore tissue this structure is called tapetum this tapetum is nutritive structure it provide nutrition to developing microspore it provide nutrition to the microspore mother cell so it is a nutritive layer it is present in microspore in here it is present in anther just outside the microspore mother cell here the microspore mother cell mmc and outside is a called tapetum now we discuss about the functions of tapetum important question approximately 2 to 3 marks question for both cbse as well as rbse students so what is the work of tapetum first is transportation of nutrient the nutrient which is essential to the developing mmc or microspore mother cell and then microspore it transport from middle layer to the microspore mother cell just before the tapetum the layer is called middle layer where they receive the nutrient and then transfer to the mmc so it is a work of tapetum the transportation of nutrient next is a secretion of enzyme and then hormones some enzyme and hormones secreted by the tapetum for the production of microspore and then plant next is the production of ubis bodies it is a very important structure it is generally present outside the pollen grain now it is the inner more entire membrane of pollen grain where the the ex external structure external membrane is called exine now this ubiquitous body produce the sporopollenin the name of chemical is called sporopollenin these sporopollenin cover the entire pollen grain it is a pollen grain so complete pollen grain cover by the membrane which is called sporopollenin and these sporopollenin is produced by ubiquitous body and these ubiquitous body is produced by the tapetum so we can directly call that tapetum produce the sporopollenin here yeah? and the sporopollenin is the hardest substance among the plant world that means it is unable to degrade with the acid base and other any kind of chemicals so it is a very important as per the need and other purpose that hardest substance in plant world which is sporopollenin so sporopollenin is hardest substance clear and it is produced by which thing which is called ubiquitous body and ubiquitous body is produced by the tapetum so very important three part function of tapetum secretion of pollenium uh, sorry sporopollenin function of tapetum production of ubiquitous body and the sporopollenin is the hardest substance and where the sporopollenin present just outside the pollen grain so four objective question you can learn from this topic next is the secretion the tapetum secrete the pollen kit for joining or attachment to the pollen so it is the secretion of pollen kit next number fifth secretion of special protein the special protein secreted by tapetum these special protein is present just outside the membrane and it is the species compatibility that means it allow to germinate on the species same species stigma so it is very important for recognition of same species 
so that time it is special protein secreted by the tapetum so five function of tapetum one is the transportation of nutrient to the mmc cell from middle layer secretion of enzyme and hormone for development of mmc in the plant production of ubiquitous body which produces sporopollenin fifth secretion of pollen kit and then secretion of special protein so it is a important function and it come in exam two or three marks question very important you can explain in this manner yes some time related to this topic first is the callus callus pollinium and the poly polyspore first is the callus it is a microspore tetrad these microspore tetrads are joined by the membrane and this membrane is called callus so joining of this membrane or the membrane which join the four microspore the membrane is called callus clear okay. second term which is callus it is a type of enzyme which released by the tapetum these enzyme dissolve the callus and then dissociate Four microspore into four pollen grain. All are pollen grain. So it dissociate the four microspore, and then each microspore develop into pollen grain. So it is a callus. Callus is the enzyme which dissolve the membrane callus. next the pollinium in some plants the microspore unable to dissociate and they remain attach for long time the condition is called pollinium in this we can see the many pollen grain are in joining form and the condition is called pollinium so we can say the tetrad in join form and then tetrad develop into the pollen grain without dissociation that time the condition is called pollinium again repeat the pollinium means the condition where microspore develop into pollen grain without dissociation so they are called attached pollen grain or we can say they are called attached microspore for lifetime so condition is called pollinium polyspore means more than more than one microspore condition is called polyspore so these are the four terms which related to this topic callus it is a membrane not any kind of enzyme this membrane which attaches the four microspore second is a callus is enzyme which dissolve microspore so that dissociate and develop into the pollen grain third is the pollinium pollinium is the attached condition of microspore or pollen grain without dissociation in number 4 polyspore means more than one microspore present in a single state that time it is called poly polyspore <coughs> thank you students for joining my class it is a very useful topic for cbsc and rbc board student as well as neat purpose so if you enjoy this video if you can learn from this video very slowly so please subscribe this channel thank you